So it's Thursday, and as we all know, Thursdays are for the boys, and uh, we're just nice. going to get into it. We got a lot of goofy shit to talk about, and uh, I'd like to have fun. So let's just go right on into our first story of the day. Yeah. We got we got two hilarious stories and then a very ridiculous video. Um, so we're going to start with our first story of the day. Zambia, my favorite African country. Well, top five. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nice. This, this is coming from The Guardian. Uh, they banned an energy drink recently that was found to contain Viagra. I, I don't That's know. That's pretty dope. They actually got the brand name. You know, because recently, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I keep up with things like this, and the, <laughs> <laughs> the patent for Viagra ran out. So oh, okay, now there's yeah, lots yeah. of places like uh, selling generic Viagra online. Right. Like Blue Chew and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, was that 4 Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. a sponsor. They had but hey, yeah. hit us up. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're young. We like boners. If you want... 12 more people to know about your product. Hit us up. That's right. 16. 16, actually. Oh, it's 16? 16. 16. We're at 16, uh, 16 now. 16, then. Yeah. We're keeping, we're keeping it moving. We're definitely getting calls now. That's right. Yeah. So, um, they basically have said that people are getting boners from drinking energy drinks, which, I mean, I've been doing that for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I don't need Viagra to get a boner from an energy drink. I just get revved up, dude. Yeah, yeah. They just, just revved up. <laughs> 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 oh man so it says the drink is exported to african countries such as uganda malawi and zimbabwe i mean guess cool. which one of those i've never heard of <laughs> <laughs> but uh so they said in a letter uh in december of 2018 that it made similar findings after a consumer complained about constant sweating and a nearly six hour erection complained i i could see the complaining about the sweating yeah, right. Yeah, I'm I not, guess so, yeah. I'm yeah. not in a fucking sauna. Yeah. <laughs> but six-hour erection, that's like, bro, you're setting world records. What? Like, uh, the only reason that would be a problem is if you don't have, like, someone to enjoy it with you. you right. I mean? Yeah, I, I could see, like, you start to chafe after a while. Yeah, exactly. If you're alone with your six-hour erection. Right. That, that might be worth a complaint. I mean, the natural way of getting rid of an erection we all know is to empty your balls. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the scientific term for it. Um, But after like the fourth or fifth time of just like trying to crank it out. Yeah. Here's the thing. You just get, I mean, eventually your arm's going to get tired. You're going to, you know, you're going to have some, like you said, chafing. Uh, There's, it's just going to be a problem on multiple fronts. Right. And typically when you drink an energy drink, it's not like, I'm about to have sex with my lady. Better dro- drop this Red Bull real quick. It's, yeah. like, it's like usually you're like, oh, I'm so tired. I just woke up for work. Right. Heading into the office. Could you imagine sitting down and at your desk in an <laughs> office cubicle? No. Pounding one of these uh, big blue energy drinks and you're like, I feel really productive. But at the same time, my dick is like poking a hole through my jeans right so now. So does my dick. And it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, would be like. That'd be like the ultimate. Like I got, I literally like have to keep tucking it in my waistband over and over. Can you imagine like being a sixteen-year-old going to high school Whoa. and drinking one of those yeah. before class, and and then oh man, that would be the worst. I don't think you'd feel any different because like you're all, you already always have boners when you're that. <laughs> well, age. that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> that's mean, your constant state at sixteen. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like wow, this energy drink is just. My normal three Thursday. <laughs> yeah. almost said threes day. Um, <laughs> so another funny line was uh, uh, the company could not be immediately reached for comment on the no, Well, of course not. No, yeah. They're doing research and development. I'm not going to answer my phone. <laughs> they're they're too busy. a six-hour boner. <laughs> they're too busy <laughs> testing their product. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Oh, man. That's, that's a great story, bro. I mean, of all countries to have... I don't know where I'm going with that, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> of all yeah, of the I countries. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we all know where you're going with that. You don't have to elaborate. You're going to have people passing out left and right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine having a dick so big that getting a boner makes you pass out. We, yeah. We, we also didn't, didn't mention the, uh, the, the name of the energy drink, which is hilarious oh, because dude. just, it's like one of those foreign names, oh, uh, right. power, natural, high energy drink, SX, Whoa. <laughs> SX, 
Come on, you know, you know what the hell was in that. You like, knew <laughs> what you were doing. Power, natural, high energy. That sounds like uh, those Japanese like folders. Yeah. That will just stay. They'll say like strawberries or something on them. Like it's just an English word. Yeah. It's like they, they sell T-shirts like that where it'll be like super strong mega go. Oh yeah. It's just, like yeah. a random amalgamation of words. And like Japanese people think, oh, that's an American thing. Like yeah. I'm gonna get that. Ooh, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh so. man. Let's uh, go on to our second story. Something probably a lot of people have heard about. Oh, yeah, I just yeah, realized this was that big. this is a Fox yeah. News article. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fine. They... We'll be all right. Hey, here's the thing. I want to I wanna just make this point. Okay. Whether it's Fox News or whether it's uh, The Guardian or wherever you're getting your news, 98, 99% of the time, the facts in the article are going to be the same. Okay. And it's just the slant and the editorializing that gets done with those facts that changes spoken like a true journalist a little anyway uh, little aside there so on shill <laughs> so uh a man and a man i don't know why it says a man in texas when in the article it clearly states that it was a guy and his wife right yeah fucking why didn't she get the credit we're foreseeing the fox she news was slant there right away yeah exactly yep. motherfuckers yeah so texas couple <laughs> i'll help you out there brie stimson that's a woman's name <laughs> yeah I'll help you out, Bree. It's a Texas couple, not Come Texas. Come on, Bree. Man. Get your shit together. We just defended the Give shit the out of Brie credit. Larson last week. <laughs> yeah, right. You're fucking it up for all the Brees, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> Bree with S O N at the end of your last name. Yeah, Stimson. It's like this. It's like a knockoff. Yeah, Bree Larson and yeah. Oh, I got you. I was, yeah, <laughs> I got you. I, got, I see where you're Sorry, going. I was trying to make that connection. <laughs> so, the, this Texas couple brought uh, their steer into a Petco Look to at those test. Horns. I don't know, they're gigantic. He probably drank one of those energy drinks from the last <laughs> article. <laughs> Two of them, apparently. Yeah. Just, In six hours, those will deflate. Just pound them, dude. <laughs> um, they brought their giant steer into a pet co to test the all-leashed pets are welcome policy. Um, I feel like a steer is a safe option to test this because like yeah right it's texas and we yeah. all know that there are more well not we all know y'all are about to learn there are more <laughs> tigers in texas than all yeah, the yeah. wild of all the world yeah it's an old joe rogan bit from uh, one of his netflix specials yeah so i mean you could technically put a tiger on a leash and bring it into petco right. based on these policies right Th that would be a different story <laughs> yeah for sure yeah like this different animal yeah a steer yeah. Not for, all, for those who don't know, a steer is a, a male bull cow that has his balls removed, so he's less testosterone filled. He's not bucking around and like yeah. bull in a petco shop. They're docile, much more docile. Yeah. So he's he basically just a cow with horns. Um, yeah, basically. Yeah. That's, that's essentially what it is. <laughs> yeah. If you say bull, it conjures up ideas of like big fucking steroid muscled out yeah. thing bucking around and yeah. trying to fuck a clown or whatever they do. <laughs> I've been to a rodeo. I know. I know what goes I've on seen at rodeos. It. <laughs> um, so it's basically just this is a giant fucking cow that just walks around and is like people are petting it. They seem happy about it. Um, mm. So if I'm thinking, what were these people's motivation? Mm. It's, it's a it's a thought experiment. They were probably trying to fuck with people or yeah. or stir up outrage so they could be like, ha ha, you're outraged. We're just fo we're following your rules, man. Um, right. But it kind of backfired on. Them. It really did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, pretty sweet. they like dismounted okay because they were like, we were welcomed with open arms. The staff members here are always super friendly and courteous to us. We really enjoy coming to this location. Mm -hmm. Our favorite Petco by far. So what I'm saying is I, I bet they checked beforehand, mm -hmm. found out it was okay because it is a steer and because they knew it wouldn't be like a, a bull in a mm -hmm. pet shop. And they brought it in after getting permission and then they make this viral story out of it. Interesting. I think there's there's a good case to be made that this was meant to be a viral story and it worked. I mean, kudos to him. It worked, but it, it, I think it was orchestrated. Didn't know we were talking conspiracy theories. Yeah, I think it was. That does sound a bit like a conspiracy. Like, uh, they were like, we want some publicity for Petco. Yeah. They may... Petco may have orchestrated this yeah. themselves. They're like, we need to take over this pet. We need to corner this pet store market. That's right. Edge a little bit in on PetSmart. PetSmart and, is yeah, yeah. fucking dominating us. Yeah. So we need to pull some shit. That's, yeah. PetSmart don't let bulls in their store, bitch. That's <laughs> true. I Googled kind it. Kind of a deal. Oh, you did? Really? <laughs> no. Oh. 
I was nope. like, hey, did you I'm research? Lying. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> research. No, this is recap report. Not, <laughs> not research report. Research report. <laughs> ah, yeah. You got it, bro. Suck it, losers. <laughs> That's the first high five on the show, by the it way. It is. <laughs> we, we high, we're constantly high-fiving off camera, but that's the first time you guys got to see it. <laughs> um, so, the post has over 400,000 views. Who cares? Uh, bragging. <laughs> bragging. Yeah. 400, we're not bragging 000, about the crazy. 40 views we have on one of our videos. Right. Yeah. Like, uh, So, the, the, <laughs> the bull's name is Oliver. You know what? It's, <laughs> it's an African Watusi bull. It definitely had that fucking energy drink, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It just flew in straight <laughs> from Zimbabwe, had a boner the whole flight. This is oh, fucking it, the it's like the energy drink wore off when they got to the pet co and he was having one of those energy drink crashes that's <laughs> yeah, why he was right. so docile yeah 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 he had so, already emptied his balls from yeah they say uh <laughs> that now he has his own facebook page which is updated regularly oh nice what is going on in this fucking steers life you know it's an older couple because they made a Facebook page for it <laughs> right. and not an, not an Instagram page. Everybody made it, everybody makes Instagram pages now for their pets, That's not right. fucking Facebook pages. Yeah. Dip shit. I don't want to make fun of anyone's appearance in this article, so we're gonna move on. <laughs> That's where my head. Guy on the left next. looks like Jack White. If we're yeah, I mean def- or, that might be a lady. Okay. That might be a lady, but they look like Jack White. I think it's with just the a hair guy and the pets. with the hair and the the kind of blur over mm-hmm. their face a little bit they look like that that looks like that could be jack white like I jack see white. A blur. i think that's an astigmatism <laughs> oh nice <laughs> uh, this lady was the one i was thinking of the, one, the lady on the right uh that's touching the steer uh unconsensually yeah. by the way well she is the manager or, or manager or she would have called the manager i think she's you know? the lady that brought the the steer and she, she looks like a shit stirrer <laughs> yeah right she looks like the only person in Texas, like those people that live in Austin, but they're not, I mean, oh, they're yeah, Austin yeah. residents, they're not Texans. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she definitely, definitely. hangs out at certain bars. <laughs> I'm going to move on. Okay, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, our next one. Ooh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Did you watch this? No. Oh. No. no. Okay, no. this is great. This is uh, a kid, I think over here would be good for the size of this. Uh, this kid... This is kind of an old video. I don't remember. Okay, it came out in 2015. Okay. It's got a little bit of traction, um, but this kid basically is like, I want to say seven years old, and he's he makes this video of Flamin' Hot Cheetos versus Banana Chips. Okay. This, like, this is the type of thing that I love about kids is that their minds are so... They're, the, they're not afraid to be creative and take a chance. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the fuck in their right mind would make a video comparing Flamin' Hot Cheetos to Banana <laughs> Chips? It gets crazy. Yeah. Let's just okay, okay. This video gets insane. I just don't know what to say because I'm not. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I don't know. Well, the video. Like, I'm being slightly it. facetious. Let's okay. watch the video. Okay. Mm, yeah, this tastes so good. Yo, get the fuck out of my way. Are you seriously eating banana chips and fucking drinking ketchup? Get the fuck out of here. Time out. Okay, I have seen this. Okay. Now that now that I hear the kid, yeah, yeah. Or I've seen his videos at least. I've <laughs> right. seen something of him. Yeah. I think he has another one that was more popular, but this yeah, one yeah. caught my eye because he's com- not only comparing the two, but also who the fuck's drinking ketchup? Yeah, being I'm a real like, gangster with it. Yeah. I, you know what? I have the same question. <laughs> who the fuck who is, is drinking ketchup? <laughs> That's a great question, kid. Because if you have discovered a, a small band of people that are drinking ketchup, <laughs> I want to know about it too. I we need to fi- put them on the sex offender registry. So <laughs> however, we can do that. However, we can at least put them, them on the no fly them. list. At least, dude, if you're drinking Heinz ketchup, you don't get to they, fly with me. They don't need to be procreating if there's a group <laughs> of people. Right. Yeah, get that energy drink from Africa as far away from the ketchup <laughs> drinkers as possible. <laughs> oh man! All right, so let's let's do. Oh, what you need to do. Pick your lazy ass up, go to the store, and get hot Cheetos. And they, I don't and know what the pillow like had to do with anything. And just drink the fuck out of it. I, I drank like <laughs> five of these, and, and this is my last one. Six, I'll, eat these two. I'll eat this one fuck out of there. Mmm. Mmm. Damn, that shit good. So you need to go to the fucking store and get some. <laughs> <laughs> He's hilarious. There's a, there's one line in this video that's probably one of my favorite lines I've heard in a video in a long time, and it's one of those lines that like when if and when we get a soundboard for this show, I want to put it on there. Okay. I don't know exactly where it comes, so we're gonna have to watch quite a bit of this, but I'm gonna replay it multiple times. It's amazing. Okay. This fruit tastes good than a bitch, but how the fuck do I open it? Though? <laughs> how the fuck do I open it? Had five already, right? Yeah. <laughs> what needs to do? Do you not get? 
and cut that shit open. Let's do that. Um, let's do a quiz. So, what you need to do? Hot Cheeto first. Banana shit. Banana, banana shit. shit. <laughs> He's actually kind of charismatic. Yeah, yeah. He's got a good personality. Banana fuckers. Banana fuckers. Banana fuckers. This shit tastes fucking nasty. So yeah, this fucking oh, really yes. oh, I, I would. Yeah, like how many views? Fifty thousand views. That's right. Contest. I think this is one of not even. I don't want to fucking video. drink ketchup. So leave in the comments what's better, banana shit or hot Cheetos, ketchup or this motherfucker right here. So bitch, you better go get your lazy ass to the store and not buy these motherfuckers. So. You motherfucker, getting your ass whooped. Oh boy, he loves that. That's oh, where, that's okay. where he gets that cringe. Is, he gets cringy at that part. I can't remember where he says it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's like the video should have ended already. What the already. fuck y'all looking at, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Let's do a quiz. I can't remember where he says it. It's yeah, driving me nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At one point he says, it's gooder than a bitch. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and just him saying, it's gooder than a bitch. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't amazing. watch, like, hip-hop YouTube videos all day or anything. <laughs> that face is amazing. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> he looks psychotic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man, I like how he has the Walmart brand banana chips, too. It's, it's a good... Banana shits. Banana shits. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a good product placement. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think they appreciate the free ad. Yeah, this came from Middle America, I'm going to guess. I'm not I'm not shocked at all by the, the like-to-dislike ratio. Yeah, that's right. solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's pretty, pretty dope. Yeah, and the the one eleven dislikes probably came after a minute and a half in the video or so. One hundred eleven people like banana shits. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, "Are you kidding? I love drinking ketchup." <laughs> How I feel so attacked. <laughs> yeah. I feel so attacked by this. People like content. you that don't allow steers in Petco. <laughs> What a oh, weird day. We yeah. we put a lot of weirdness into this episode. Yeah, I like it though. I feel like I fucked up on the video portion. No. I should have no. remembered what party said that. That's gooder than a bitch. It's gooder than a bitch. Maybe it's in a different I bet he says it a few times. I know How he many says it. does he have? Oh, like, a ton. Yeah, okay. Then, I, yeah. I know it's in this video though because this is <laughs> Oh my god, I just read the description. Young Oh my god. Young killer thug white in bomb hates banana chips. And drinks ketchup. Number one hundred. He drinks the fuck out of the drink. Category comedy. <laughs> huh. Comments are disabled for this video. Oh, uh, because it's a little kid, probably. Yeah. I don't know if this is his channel. I mean, Jesse Reed seems like a solid name for this little fucking white trash. Yeah. Bitch. Um. But yeah, this shit's gooder than a bitch. That's a solid line. Yeah. I'm going to find it. I'll cut it out and once we get a soundboard. That's going in it for sure. For sure. And anytime, Let's do it. Anytime I see you take a drink of anything, I'm going to hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> she is gooder than a bitch. <laughs> I don't know. Hell yeah. Thursdays for, for the, the boys. boys. <laughs> Catch you next time. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Recap Report. And uh, if you do feel so inclined, please give this video a like, comment, give us suggestions, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you next time.